Hello and welcome to Sky World Inside Wildlife of South Africa's Rugby World Cup boss from owning farm to raving South Africa's director of rugby. Rassi Erasmus is hoping to help lead him to back-to-back -back World Cup triumphs before returning to his wild life. South Africa may be preparing for a Rugby World Cup semi-final against England on Saturday, but don't be surprised if Rassi Erasmus is seen dancing and jiving around the Stade de France beforehand. The Springboks will head into the mouth-watering clash in St. Denis knowing they have everything to lose after winning the tournament four years ago, but their entertaining director of rugby Erasmus may feel he has the winning formula the 50-year-old watched on as. Jacques Nienaber guided his side to a magnificent 29-28 victory over France to preserve their status as World Cup holders, at least for the time being. A status that Erasmus had earned when he was in the dugout four years ago. There appears to be a real sense of togetherness in the South Africa camp. And maybe it's his relatable approach to life that brings a sense of calm in the most tense of atmospheres. While Erasmus was still a player for the box, he was known to cut shapes on the dance floor perhaps more than his teammates. He could be found raving hard in clubs as he celebrated victories, according to I News, and even now, his tendency to enjoy a quick boogie has never waned. In a viral social media post uploaded in 2021, Erasmus uploaded footage of himself dancing in his living room at his home as he bopped along to Friday by Rattan and the Nightcrawlers. By his own admission, Erasmus says he is white and has no rhythm, but his carefree, joyous side makes him popular with the fan base while other coaches prefer to take a more serious stance. Earlier in life, Erasmus entered the army for two years at 18 before he attended university. After earning small amounts playing for he free state in Bloemfontein, he took on a real variety of different day jobs before chasing his dream as a rugby coach. He was a salesman selling office equipment for Minolta and also also ran a security firm. Along with that, he was in charge of a BP petrol station, a video film company and a financial services outfit. Erasmus also took pride in his cattle farm, although he shouldn't be confused with another South African also named Rassi Erasmus, who owned an eight-year-old tiger named Sheba.